At the beginning of the school year, the culinary team at the Herndon Career Center in the Raytown School District near Kansas City set a goal, to be the best team in the United States. In fact, members of the team put post-it notes on their bathroom mirrors that said, first in the nation. This spring, they achieved that goal, taking first place out of 48 teams in the National Pro Start Invitational Culinary Arts Competition. Chef and culinary arts instructor, Mike Krostowski says the team has been amazing to coach and mentor. You know, and, and this team for me was, it was awesome. I mean, these team, you know, I mean, they came in with, with goals to learn how to cook, to be, you know, learn some craft and some skills of how to be successful in the kitchen. And I think, you know, they, I, I found little niches that they were good at and I tried to exploit that for all it was worth. Um, and from there, they just grew. And so when teams came about and the team, you know, you're like you're on a culinary team, you could see like, wow. Team member and Raytown South High School student Levi Barkley says the national competition was challenging. Uh, the stress was something I definitely was expecting and there was a lot of it, um, but uh, it was really well organized. It was a lot of fun. It was really cool to see other teams from all around the country and also uh, Japan and Germany were there. So it was, all, it was really great to see the different food that everyone brought. Students in Herndon's Culinary Arts program are juniors and seniors who meet three hours a day, five days a week. Besides classwork, the students have extensive hands-on experience in a professional kitchen. Krostowski says the students must pass a safety and sanitation test before actually beginning their instruction on cooking methods. And we try to do as high level as we possibly can. So we may start the unit out with a real simple recipe, uh, with a lecture, a demo of how to do it, maybe uh, uh, some videos that they can go home and watch to kind of get another chef's perspective. Guest speakers come in, they give their perspective as well. Um, and then we just, hopefully by the end of the unit, you know, we're doing some really cool stuff and we're really stretching and pushing uh, and hitting goals that they didn't know that they could hit, which, which is always really fun to grow and see and watch them evolve. Members of the national championship team say there's a lot more to becoming a chef than they imagined when they started the program. Such as like different techniques on how to cook meat or how to use a saute pan the right way. Just Tom's attempts at how to control your food and how the way you cook it. Uh, I've learned a lot of things about the industry, a lot. Uh, one major thing I learned, it's not as easy as it looks. You know, cooking looks easy, but there's a lot of things you got to know just to make a simple plate. While the first year of the program focuses on learning cooking skills, the second year includes instruction on restaurant management. Honestly, a chef it, it should be able to cook, but can you manage your numbers? Can you work on your labor? Can you formulate a food cost? Do you know how to calculate a food cost? Can you write and you know do a recipe that could train your whole entire kitchen staff so it's the same day after day. So we spend a lot of time on that over the year. Um, they build a business plan. Krostowski says he eventually lets the students get creative. Uh, you know, I mean, you know, a lot of the beginning of the year is, you know, let's stick to the recipe. You know, prove to me that you can saute a chicken breast right, not once, but maybe five times. And then show me that you can make a sauce to go with, and then let's stay in that box. But eventually I'm going to give you the creative freedom because you've proved to me that you can start to go outside of that box a little bit and think about, you know, how can I work with some of the, you know, the fancy white powders to, you know, make, you know, raspberry caviar or something. You know, you have to prove to me that you can display a cooking method before, you know, we, we go and start getting into the more expensive ingredients. Um, and, you know, a lot of times the students just rise to that occasion and, you know, you start to see some really amazing pretty sweet dishes coming out of the kitchen. You're like, wow, I get to taste this? I really have a hard job, don't I? By finishing first in the national competition, team members were awarded a total of $223,000 in scholarships to be used to continue their education in the restaurant and food service industry. So what was the menu the students prepared in order to win the national championship? It featured a buttered poached Maine lobster and saffron couscous appetizer pine nut tenderloin paired with truffled Yukon potato and vegetable entree, and a raspberry dark chocolate Bavarian for dessert. Krostowski says some alumni of the program work in the best restaurants in the world, while others have taken a different career path. Um, you know, I have other students that have decided that, you know, being a chef is really fun, it was nice, but I want to see where this avenue is going to take me. So they jump into food science and milling science, 
and you know they're just doing great things and you know they're not spending 15 hours in a kitchen you know they're spending 12 13 hours in a lab talking about stuff that's going to really keep us safe and and it's just a huge i mean it's food science is exploding right now preparing students for careers and continuing education in a growing industry one more reason to stand up for missouri's public schools